Hello friends, welcome to Magenta Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about uh, how to sign into this website and how to create an account. Okay, in the header section, you will find this sign in option. Okay, just click on. So you see here, either sign in or uh, create an account, both are available in the same page. So if you already have an account, you just log in or uh, you can create an account. Okay, just uh, click on this create account if you don't have fill this information you can put first name last name in Magento first name and last name are mandatory in every form okay uh, wherever you see this last name and first name those are mandatory you can't skip those okay uh, these are the sign up for newsletter for example if this site is running any promotions or uh, any special offers to a particular product so you will get this by clicking on this one so just sign up for newsletter so if you enable this allow remote shopping assistance in the admin we have an option uh, uh, that admin can directly log in and uh, place an order uh, instead of yours if you wish to do that just uh, allow otherwise just uncheck this one you can provide your email address password okay the same password you have to add in the confirm password okay. create an account if you are creating this as a customer you will receive an email okay so it will redirect to this customer account section so we have different options in the left side navigation okay in this one this is the contact information newsletters so here you will find if you want to change any uh, billing address or shipping address you can manage here uh, you can add contact information here like uh, if you want to update any contact information like email address or you want to change any password or first name last name you want to change it you can do that uh, the newsletter thing uh, if you want to subscribe to newsletters just uh, click on this edit and just submit that one so this way you can create your uh, customer account so if you want to check any orders you can check that here if you want to change any address you can go to this address book or you can directly edit this one okay if you want any payment related information just go to this stored payment methods okay like that you can manage uh, from the customer dashboard now uh, go to my wish list You see there are no wish list items added in this okay what is the wish list so coming to the wish list wish list is a uh, wish list is the entity where uh, you will add some items before adding to the cart if you want to uh, just purchase later or if you have any second opinion or if you want to compare with other items first you will add this to wish list okay so that you can uh, uh, add all the products at a time to the cart for example I'm just taking one product so I'm just taking this simple product you see here you will have an option like uh, uh, add to wish list this symbol you click this symbol as you already logged in it will redirect to this wish list page otherwise it will uh, redirect to the login page okay so you see this is the wish list item where you will find the comment section quantity add to cart so right now i didn't add this product to cart i'm just storing that in a temporary table that is called a wish list okay before adding to the cart you just add this product to wish list if you are uh, uh, if you are fine with this product okay uh, so all at a time you can add these products for example now i just added only one product I try to add one more product you see see now I have two items in my wish list in any of the page where you find uh, the products you can add only one product at a time but in the wish list you have an advantage like if all items are fine and uh, if you are satisfied with all these items and you want to purchase all the items then 
you don't have to click add to cart for each item you just click this add all to cart so that it will add all the items which are available in this wish list will be added to the cart you see if i click this add all to cart that will add all the items which are available in this wish list okay after that uh, the wish list will be removed so it is like a temporary one so this data will be cleared after you add the products to the cart okay you see here what are the items that are uh, under wish list that were added to the cart okay so this way you can add to the wish list and uh, this is how the wish list work okay we have different options here right now add one more product i have added this item to the wish list okay now you see different options update wish list share wish list okay so what is the use of this update wish list so go to this any product just hover on it you see the quantity okay just uh, do one thing leave uh, all the remaining things just enter the whatever the quantity you need okay just i need 10 update the wish list now previously the quantity uh, is one now it will add uh, plus 9 you see quantity is updated so this way you can update any comments or uh, quantity all at once this is like a bulk implementation like if you want to update any quantity or any comments you can update that in a bulk way like this update wish list so that whatever the available items uh, in the wish list that all are updated uh, at once and uh, all the items uh, that are under the wish list will be added to the cart at once okay so this is how you can manage the wishlist from the customer point. Whatever the available items you can see by going to the wishlist as well as in the header section if you click this icon you see here my wishlist. You know how many items uh, that were added in the wishlist. Current items available in the wishlist you can see here. Okay. When you click this one it will redirect to the same page wishlist. Okay. If you want to manage this wishlist like updating or adding the products you must log into the website okay uh, if you can't log in first it will redirect to the uh, login page if you filled that login information and if it is successful then it will redirect to this wishlist page okay this way the wishlist will work now uh, i will log out this one uh, what is the customer account i have created go to this my account I will log in again with this uh, email ID. How you log into the site? You see, now click on this sign in. Now we will check how we can log in. Okay, just click on this sign in. Email address, give your password. Okay, just sign in. This way. Uh, it will logged in you see you can see my account information wish list sign out okay now i have logged in you see welcome comma test test uh, this is my first name and this is my last name you see you can see that in the header section okay if sign in is successful it will redirect to home page if uh, customer account creation is successful it will redirect to customer dashboard okay it's just a simple thing right so in the next video, we'll discuss uh, more about this customer management. Okay. Thanks for watching.